What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope y'all like that new little kind of intro, just did a little cinematic thing, I thought it'd be fun, which it was. All right, so what we are doing today, as you can probably tell from the title below, is we are doing our front five lug uh, conversion on the Datsun, as well as putting the big Willwood disc brakes on the front of the car. So all of it should, should bolt right up to our front ends with the BCs already on them. Oh, I'm sure these have spiders all over them. They will go on here, which is our front coilovers. As you can tell, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but they're full of cobwebs because they've been sitting for a while, just like the rest of the car. Always waiting on parts. Always waiting on saving up to afford parts. Ergo, always waiting on parts. So the front five lug conversion is not very expensive. Um, the expensive part is honestly the brake kit. What a surprise, it's Willwood. But we know that they're gonna work, which is good because as much as I say you don't need brakes, most of the time I'm joking. Because unfortunately to drift, you kind of have to slow down sometimes. So what I'd like to do by the end of this episode is double check our offset on the front. So I did that on the rears in one of the previous episodes or the last episode, I don't know. If you haven't checked it out, go check that one out. That one was really satisfying. So that's the plan for today, is get these on the car, get them measured, so that we can get this thing on the ground and off of jack stands, finally. So now I'm gonna throw the fender on again and we're gonna go ahead and measure for our offset. All right guys, so I've got everything back off the car. Well, the five lug and the rotor and uh, the wheel bearings are inside their little box. But tomorrow I'm gonna finish up the other side. Uh, it's getting pretty late on me. I got work tomorrow, but I'm gonna finish it all up. So it'll be no time for y'all. It's gonna be a day for me, yada, yada, yada. Uh, cut to tomorrow. And it is the next day. So I'm getting a little bit of a late start, but it's not that bad, it's like 8.15. Figure I got a couple of hours. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this side, get everything attached. Um, I ordered wheels today and tires as soon as I go inside because I know which ones I want, which ones I'm gonna run. Um, I also ordered so we're gonna have to run a 10 mil spacer in the front, 15 in the back. I'll get more onto that in the next video where we, uh, where I show y'all what wheels I got. And if the fitment's bad, then I guess we'll try again with better information. been a couple of days but I am back and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take our hub and our brake and we're gonna well I feel our hub first and we're gonna grease all our bearings and pack them and then uh, put it 
inside the bearing and it's gonna be all nasty and whatnot, but it's gonna go on there. We're gonna torque it down. So with all of that being said and done, I am going to go ahead and get those packed. So cue the packing nonsense montage. taking our Willwood caliper that we have and the bracket we've got from Silvermine Motors and we are going to wham and go ahead and put some blue Loctite on there and get them bolted down. Alright so I did this off camera because it was making me really upset. I just wanted to show how this was done. Um, I'm not going to put these on quite yet. I'll put all the I'll put this on with the other one when I get the tension rods and everything else completely bolted in and torqued down. Alright guys, so I got the other side done off camera. It was actually a lot easier than getting the other side on. This one actually fit on really nice. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for today's episode. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that other whatever. And I'll catch you on next time. I bought something. Oof. Mmm. But that's for next video. Catch y'all next time.